Hello, I'm Archibald Chesterfield III. Today, Ask the Millionaire. Ask the Billionaire. And today I'm doing a paid question. This is from Alex. Uh, Hi, Archie. Billionaire question. Via Orleans. Okay, so I will send you $25 to pick the brain of the humble billionaire. First, I will set the situation. I'm in my early 40s and a professional making about a million dollars a year gross on average combining my professional earnings, 600,000, oh, he earns a billion, a million dollars a year combining his professional earnings, 600,000 and investment income, 400,000. I got approximately 15 million in combined assets and about 2 million in debt. Most assets are in commercial real estate such as single family rentals and apartments. I've got about $1.5 million US in cash. I'm not counting the value of stuff like coins, collectible watches, Borsendorf, Imperial Grand Pianos, etc. I don't see them as liquid. You already have a breakdown of uh, about half my watch collection. I don't have investments in stocks, bonds, commodities, etc. Just don't have a comfort level with those types of investments. My dilemma is that I feel like I have hit a plateau, stalemate, freeze. I am kind of stuck. I don't know how to make the next significant move to expand upon what I have already built and am feeling increasingly insecure about my place in the pecking order. I believe I work hard, I work too hard for my money, always busy and solving problems or putting out fires. I am also insecure about the future and worry about being able to hold onto my successes. Every time I give myself a goal of fiscal achievement, what is meant to alleviate my worries? The worries never go away. When I reach the goal, uh, sorry, my worries never go, go away when I reach that goal. First I thought two million would be enough, then five million, then 10 million. I can't seem to find the sweet spot. I see myself as very middle class, don't fly business or first class and sweat it out for purchases of things like a watch, for 10 to 20,000 US dollars. When I have reluctantly made such purchases, I end up not feeling a significant, significant financial impact and actually surprise myself that I'm able to absorb such a frivolous purchase without any perspiration. I am married and have two children and two preteens. Who are preteens? My, so my question is, how do I go, do, what do I do now? Can I get rid of how, how can I get rid of my persistent insecurities? What would the humble billionaire do in my position in regards to the issues I presented? How do I find a sweet spot or wealth and lifestyle of wealth and lifestyle? I just want to be happy and relax about fucking money. Thanks, Merv. There you go. Merv is asked the billionaire. The billionaire has responded. Well, the answer to that guy is start doing things for other people so that he doesn't keep thinking about his own self. He is probably in the top 0.1% in terms of income. How can he feel middle class? If he starts having, good, help, having a good cause, do philanthropy, help out other people in hardship. He can see how blessed he really is. Feel better about himself and know that his money can be a blessing to many other people. Having a social purpose helps one feel grounded and puts a sense of satisfaction about having money. <clears throat> if I compared myself to Bill Gates, I would con be considered poor also, cause he is 50 times richer than me. But how absurd would that be? And he's given us a link to globalrichlist.com. He can go on this website to find out where he stands in the world. He is what is considered obscenely rich. And there's also a link to uh, money.cnn.com. US $1 million annual income compared to others is six times the average CEO in the world. Anyway, to reply to this guy, you can first try and fuck with him. Ha ha, something like, oh my god, only 15 million in assets. You are too poor for the Archie Luxury Channel. Ha ha! Of course, it's quite absurd to many viewers how being so rich can be. So, he can be so insecure, but it's real. But it's real because many millionaires do get depression and feelings 
about it just like this guy. The key is to remain grounded and know how lucky one is. And that can only happen if he starts paying attention and helping so many others in difficulty. Here, here, fuckers! I'm Archie Luxury, talking to the humble billionaire. Tell me what you fuckers think of that. Nice one, Archie. Great series.